everyone, it's Kat from Cat Stitch over here in New Zealand. Today is Saturday the 25th of March, I think. I got it wrong last time, so I don't know, I should have checked. Um, but it is floss tube number 32. For those that are stopping by for the first time, this is mainly about cross stitch, cross stitch adjacent. I don't really do any other crafts at this time. Um, I used to do jewellery making and colouring in. That was pretty much it. Um, and yeah, uh, so thank you very much for stopping by. I know there's a lot of, um, of, of viewing out there, so I appreciate you stopping on by. For those that are coming back again, thanks very, very much for coming back. And I also want to do a big thank you to, to those that reached out to me um, after my last plus tube. It was so appreciated and um, so I'll give you a, a quick update um, the new medication is going okay <laughs> uh, unfortunately I, I apparently have a rare side effect of the medication um, I had a small accident uh, the Wednesday after I was last with you guys um, you know, I got up early to go into the office to go to work, uh, was in the shower, and I collapsed. Not quite sure what happened. Um, I just know I landed hard. <laughs> uh, but apparently, the, you know, when I, I talked to the doctor, um, and of course I was home alone, um, but when I talked to the doctor, he said it's a rare side effect. Um, and the heat of the bathroom and the shower plummeted my blood pressure and so yeah so it now means cool showers which I'm not happy with because I, I don't like a cool shower I like a hot shower so uh, I'm, I'm working out a workaround I'm gonna get a stool um, at the moment when I go and have my shower I sit on the floor because I'm danged if I'm gonna give up my hot showers okay but otherwise, I'm 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 doing okay. Um, couldn't stitch for a few days after the you know not properly or not for long. Um, elbows still bruised. Had a couple of blood tests. I am anemic, um, which you know doesn't surprise me. I, I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, actually, I don't eat a lot to start with. But um, he's also doing some other tests because there were some other results he wasn't too happy with. But there you go. You know. God, you turned 50 and suddenly your body just wants to give you major grief. It's like, what the heck? Anyway, so, uh, okay, so on to today. What are we doing? Um, okay, so I didn't actually work on any whips. They're all new starts and finishes. Um, I got into a groove of just working on mainly one particular designer, and that's Homespun Elegance. So... Um, I've, I've done a bunch of their charts that um, I was very generously lent. Um, still got another two to go, but they'll be finished and, and returned very shortly. Um, as, as well as a, a, a couple of other ones that were in my in my pack, what I'm going to try and do is um, with some of my haul, which you'll see um, soonish. Um, I'm, I'm going to make some themed project bags. Um, so I'm going to have a bee themed one, so that all my bee ones are going to go into that. I'm just going to put them all into it. Um, I'm going to have a gnome one. All my gnomes are going to... I could not believe how many gnomes I've got. I was like, okay, I've gone a little overboard with the gnomies. I've got like at least 50. It's like, holy moly. And how many have I stitched? Two. Um... <laughs> Three, if you count my little needle book, um, and you know, and, and that sort of thing, because I want to focus on just a few themes for the rest of the year, apart from, you know, wanting to do some work on whips. So, for the rest of the month, I, I want to at least put a few stitches on on some of my whips before the end of the month. Uh, so you'll see those next time, uh, which I think is Easter. I think it's Easter weekend. I don't know. I wasn't sure if I was going to be coming today, um, but I thought, no, look, we're going to do this, um, 
and we'll, we'll have a catch up and I've got some stitchy kindness and I've got a little bit of haul not a lot of it like cross stitch haul but stitch adjacent for my finishing and, and that sort of stuff so um, we'll go through that and yeah so let's start with my starts and finishes now I actually wrote a little note on the back of a scrap paper, go figure. Um, okay. Oh no, that's the latest one, so I don't want that one first. <laughs> oh, you're so organised this morning. Jeez, cat. Okay. Right, so this was the first one. I don't think I'll need the board because they're all smalls. Okay, so this is. Uh, no, it's not the first one. That's the first one. Okay, so this is Midnight by Primitive Hair. Sorry about the cat hair, you know, the, the cat floss. Um, not mine, the cat, you know, monkeys. So this is Primitive Hair. Uh, it's Midnight. I've stitched on just a scrap of fabric. Um, no, it's not. It's Jody Ree, and I th think it's Winter Primula. Um, it was just a 9 by 13 so yes, it wasn't a scrap. Um, and I, you know, I, I did change the colours, because, you know, it's me, I always change the colours. Um, but I'm, I really love that. I'm trying to work out, did I, because I didn't, because it says I finished it on the 12th. So had I finished this last week before I showed you, uh, last time before I showed you, because wasn't that around about the time of my recording? Maybe I finished it on the on the Sunday, so this might have been a whip that I showed that I finished the next day or that day. So there we go. So happy with that. And then uh, the next one was not that one. In here. In my gorgeous bag from Judith. So it's part of the Whispered by the Wind series of Moonrise. I did the first one, which is what you know I wanted to at least get one of them done. Um, so I've done Moonrise, and I'm stitching it on 18 count smoky vintage smoke cloudy. Uh, If I remember, I'll put it down. But there we go. Oh, hang on. This one will need the board because it's, it's see-through. Actually, you know what? The back doesn't look too bad for a change, which is, you know, because usually I, I don't like my backs. But there we go. You can still see that piece of floss behind it. I've got to just tidy up the back of it. So there we are. So it's the first one in the series. Of Moonrise. Here we go. I'll even show you my back. Look. Unusually, it's tidy. I, I don't know. It must have been about working on the on the 18 count. Um, and I stitched. It was one over one. So it's just a single thread. Um, and yeah, I switched out a bunch of colours because stitching from st sorry, stitching from stash as much as possible. So. Um, Especially, you know, missing work, you know, quite a few days. Um, I love this. I just, um, it didn't call for any back stitching, but uh, around the moon, but the moon really blended into the background. So I just used the darker of the moon colours as the back stitch, just around it, just to help it pop out a little bit. So really happy with that. So they're only going to be small. They're just going to be little. Because they're all going to be getting done on the 18 count. Which I have learnt something. Because um, usually I stitch on 14 count because of, of my sight. But if I don't... If the first thing I stitch on for the day is the 18 count, I find it quite easy to stitch on. If I start on a 14 count 
and then later on try to get to do that it's a struggle so that's I, I you know my whispered in the wind will be like a dedicated day paid you know day stitch sort of thing so I won't stitch on anything else other than the whispered in the wind so they become like a one day um, stitch which so it'd be either a Saturday or a Sunday okay so the next one I did got it right this time is now these ones are all by homespun elegance and they're part of the spirit collection I think it was from like I think it's like 2009 2004 can't remember but it's it's that it, it's an older series but I'm, I'm sure it's still able to be found I don't know um, now what I've done for my um, homespun elegance ones is I have just picked out a bunch of flosses out of my stash um, not not that lovely turquoise blue that was the beautiful one that Nicole gave me as silks for you for me to try I just haven't stitched on the project that I'm wanting to use it on yet um, and I just pick from those for the colors for um, and I put it in my bag um, for all of the homespun elegance now this was a scrap piece of Bare Branches by Jodie Ree Designs. Um, it was the one that I asked to specialty dye because it was a previous limited edition. Um, but this is what was left of the previous limited edition because the new one I didn't get opal, but this one's opal, so it's a bit sparkly. But there we go. It's very cute. So I'm going to have fun making a homespun elegance basket or box or something like that with all the little ones, all the little pillows. Or I haven't quite decided if they're all going to be pillows or if some might end up as um, flat finishes or something else. Um, okay, so the next one that I did was Double Trouble. So I did this one on... I started and finished on the 14th this one so okay so moonrise I did 11th to the 12th which in I did 12th to the 13th um, this one here I did start and finish on the 14th I love this one this is very cute love the owl is it an owl or is it supposed to be a gargoyle I think it I think it's an owl Oh, Bobby's just spotted someone out the window. What? I'm going to go protect the house. Okay. Um, okay, the next one I did on the 16th to the 18th because I had my accident <laughs> on the Wednesday and I really wasn't up to stitching. Um, was this one, it's called... Stitching Witch. It's very cool. Um, now the design called for a stitched spider and I chose instead maybe we need to turn on the light. There we go. I chose instead to sew on one of my little charms and there was a charm in the design to go here but it was like a taller pumpkin with a heart in it I obviously didn't have anything like that so I just had a look at my charms and I found this little one and I thought well that'll work especially because you know both the both of the charms are the same sort of um, bronzy sort of tone so I thought that worked really well that's that one and then next I did the pumpkin gatherer and this was done from the 19th to the 21st. I really was struggling because I landed quite badly on my elbow and um, it was all a bit swollen. So I couldn't really stitch very much. But this is Pumpkin Gatherer. And then this one. It is almost finished. I'm just I just want to make a tassel, but I'm gonna be doing that when I'm doing the Effie sewing. Um instead of stitching the, the broom top, I want to make a little tassel and attach it on instead up the top. 
So this is brooms for sale. So the the little tassel, the little mini one, I want to, at least I think I am, I might end up, if, if I struggle to figure out how to make the tassel thing work, I might just stitch it in. But at the moment my, my idea is to make a tassel and attach it. And then, oh, and these are all stitched on 14 count Rustico. Um, I just, which I, I do love. I love stitching on, on Rustico. I, I like the simplicity of it. I know it's old and, and it's been around forever, but I just like it. Really, I do. And then this one is stitched on 14 count popcorn string. Um, and this is where this, this is the fabric that I'm going to put the last three on because they're bigger ones. Um, I haven't taken it off the Q-snip because I finished it late last night. Uh, it's called Haunted Hill. Now, it's supposed to be using hickory sticks and 900 for the orange. Instead, what I chose was Live and Die in LA's Naughty and Weeks Dye Works Blaze. So. I don't know if you can't, can you see the variegation in Naughty? Um, hang on, I'll see if I can, I'm sure I've got the thread here so you can see. Hello monkey, yes I'm in here, yeah, okay. What? Oh, hi! Hi, yeah. Monkey's making an appearance. Okay, this is it. So this is the live and die, oops, where are we? The live and die in LA Naughty. So as you can see, it's sort of a, I mean, it looks a little bit like hickory sticks with the brownie part or the greeny brownie part, but I just liked having that burgundy sort of coming through. It's really lovely. So this is how much I've got left. <laughs> so I was, I was sort of thinking, come on, you're going to make it to the end of it. Yep. Cool. Great. Sorry, just putting that away. So yeah, so this is Haunted Hill. Really happy with this. So this I will do probably as a flat finish or a wall hanging. And depend, oh, one of the other ones will end up being a drum. And because it's a bit long. And I think the other one might be similar to this in size. So I've saved the bigger ones till last. But um, I'll continue that series probably next month. Maybe. I know I want to try and do a few stitches on at least a couple of my whips. And then I've got Dad's one starting on the 31st. Um, so, yeah. So those are my starts and finishes. Um, so this last fortnight... I did 10,251 stitches, so so far this month I've done 16,713 stitches, which is averaging around about 696 a day, and considering there was a few days I didn't stitch, I'm happy with that, so I'm, st I'm still on target for my 200 to 250 for the year, so, so that's good. Why did I bring this one in? What's in here? Hang on a second. Oh, okay. So because in my haul I did get something, um, I'm going to be restarting my hate. Because I, I wasn't happy about doing it on the 14, 16 count because I thought I had a 25 count. So I've got 25 counts, so I'll be restarting that one. So that's going to be a restart. Fortunately, I'd only done a couple of hundred stitches, so it's not too bad. Okay, so next we're going to go through the haul, um, and then I'm going to show the stitchy kindness that I, I received um, last week, which was, which was wonderful, which was, yeah, okay. So, um, last 
Friday, I had to take Casey, my car, yes, I named my car, uh, into the mechanics to get two new tyres, two brake pads, window, window wipers, um, and, oh, the headlights had to be polished so that she could be now warranted and safe for the roads. I didn't really have to do the brake pads, but I sort of figured they've got the front tyres off, you might as well do the brake pads at the same time. So, and the weather was horrible because my plan was to go in there, drop the car off and go for a walk down to the beach. But it was persisting down, so I wasn't going to go anywhere. anywhere. Fortunately, I'd taken some of my cross stitch. So I started uh, one of my cross stitches when I was um, there, but it didn't have great lighting, so I couldn't do a lot. Um, but I was very proud of myself because there was a lot of noise. <laughs> It was a lot of noise. I'm not good with a lot of noise, but I managed to stay there for the, I think it was about an hour and a half. Um, and of course I hadn't taken my headphones and so I was hearing all of it. Um, but I managed to do that and then I left there and I drove to Pete's Emporium. You see, I my first instinct is to say Joe's and it's not Joe. I don't know who Joe is and I don't know why I keep on thinking Joe's Emporium. But I went there specifically to get some fabrics to make the project bags that I want to make. And of course, the lovely Nicole from North Island Stitcher is there. So she wonderfully helped me uh, find some of the fabrics. And then I sort of got sidetracked as I was heading to the counter and got a few other bits and pieces that were going to help me with some finishing or displays. And yeah, because you, you do. That's, you know. Pete's Emporium is like... I suppose it would be along the lines of, I mean, I don't, I'm trying to remember what, I did go to a, I can't remember what I went to, whether it was a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby or whatever when I was over in Canada, but it's it's that sort of thing, cross between the Dollar Tree. I, I, I it's, it's actually hard to explain, but it's, it's got a great range of things. Um, there's like a huge, you know, fabric and, and they've just started getting in things like the DMC cottons and um, some Ada cloth and they've got felt and they've got zips and they've got, you know, tools and hoops and lots of stuff there. So it's definitely becoming more of a, more of a, I mean, it's not an LNS, it never will be. Um, I don't think so. Uh, but it it's, it's good for, um, basics and, and that sort of thing which is brilliant so I went down there and okay can I I bought a bunch of charts PDFs uh, yeah that was another thing I did okay so this was the original one that I chose to get for doing my bee themed one which I think is beautiful look at that And I'll show you what I found and ended up getting some of shortly uh, as well. So one might go on the inside, one might go on the outside, or one might be the bag and um, the other might be uh, like little accessories or something like that. There's that one. This one is going to go for my Whispered in the Wind series as well as my, um, what was the other one, Waxing Moon Design Haunted Houses, the trios. So that's going to have those series in it. This was my original one for my gnome ones. It's very cute. This is probably going to end up being the inside of the bag because, I'll show you what I got. Uh, somewhere else. So that's lovely. This one I got specifically for the, is it my grandmother's jewel box by Carolyn Manning. I've signed up for the sale so I've, I've actually got to start that this week um, so that I can continue it as part of a challenge um, next month and onwards. So I got this and it is shimmery I don't know if you can see, yes monkey, I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but isn't that beautiful? And I just, you know, 
Nicole had actually gotten a piece of this last time we were together and I really loved it and so my thought when I went down there was to get this particular piece of fabric um, for Granny's one so for the for the Granny's jewel box so um, I got a piece of that and then this one was going to be a lining for the gnome one or a seasonal one because I also need one for seasons um, seasons and months so I thought well this could maybe work for that I've already got the Canadian one which is my dad's one um, so I got those I got some more um, of the chenille speckled it's called speckled chenille yarn it's 80% polyester 20% acrylic and it's machine washable yeah lovely but I wanted a purple because I know that some of my charts and things like that that I'll be doing over the next few months I can have more of a purpley tone or a, a, you know with my Halloweeny sort of ones I like the idea of putting purple rather than always using black so um, I got a ball of that when I was there I also got some <coughs> not this occasion but I forgot to show them last time because they were in a different bag um, I got some more trims um, these lovely lacy sort of ribbons because I was sort of thinking these ones for when I do my March ones um, the flower ones and stuff like that for all those Valentine ones that I've done. Excuse me, I just need a, a drink. A bit of coffee this week. Okay. So I also got some more zips. A range of zips. Because we need the zips. If we're going to make the project bags. Um, I got, because I want to do some flat finishes, um, I got some more little easels. And these are only a few dollars from Peeps. So, you know, they're a great little way to be able to display um, the flat finishes if you don't want to put them on hangers or, or anything like that. Really handy. I've got a few of them sort of dotted around. Um... I got some pom-poms and I'm sort of thinking these will probably make an appearance when I'm doing my gnomes. It's like on their hats and stuff like that. So, or just on the corners, just to, but they're sparkly, you know, because we all love sparkle. Um, these, I got a couple of canvas panels in two different sizes. So, um, so that when they're put together, they'll be like that. So both of them will be, you know, one, like the front one will have the, the design on, sorry. The front one will have the design on, and then the back one will have the you know the um, fabric or the paper or whatever I choose to use on it. So I got those, and they were only a couple of dollars. Um, because part of what I want to do is with my gnomes anyway, is to create like a little gnome village. So I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna start getting like mushroom things and and stuff like that. But I thought, well, you need grass, so I just got a I just got a pack of that for when the time comes. So I've got it ready. So there's no dithering. Um, was that everything I got from Pete's? Oh, yep. Oh no, I didn't. And I got this jar, this gorgeous jar jar with bamboo lid um what i'm wanting to do is do a design for the top make a like a pin pillow at the top and then there's two thoughts to my mind either i'm going to put silhouettes and stick them on the side and put some lights in um i've got i've got some of those fairy lights and stuff like that um which i'll just put the i'll attach the battery thing to the lid so that when you take it off you pull the lights up I suppose but you can also change the battery and turn them on and off or I was thinking I'm going to do that maybe decorate down the bottom here in some way and just use it as like a storage jar for um, some tools or you know that sort of thing I probably should have got the shorter one but you know th this works so that's what I mean about getting stitch adjacent stuff is stuff that I want to use to try different finishes and, and work out other ways to display my, my goodies and things like that. Um, right, 
So from where next? From Stitch NZ, I got my 25 count. Now the reason I got all those BMCs, multiple of the same ones, so I got triple six and three two one and a couple of the three ten. Um is because not only am I going to be doing the Bewitched Ornament restart, but I also was showing a little gnome that was a freebie on the Heaven and Earth design page. So some of the ones I'm going to show you with designs are just ones that I've picked up that are free ones that you guys might be interested in or not. That's up to you. But um, I thought, right, so I just got a fat quarter because my initial one is my Bewitched. The nine one won't probably start until later and you know once this one's finished but it might be big enough to fit both on i haven't calculated it um so i got that from stitch nz along with some other bits and pieces but um they've already been sort of dispersed because <laughs> you know i was impatient okay so from ribbon rose up in auckland i got some fabric so this is going to be my B one because it is gorgeous look at that so that's gonna be my B theme bag I don't I don't know who I don't think it has anything about who the designer is does it no wouldn't have a clue uh, sorry if you really want to know I will make inquiries um, <laughs> and then for my gnome, my gnomey bag, or my, some people call them gonks, some people call them gnomes, so gnome, this one, look at that, that's my shirt, look at those little gnomies, look at them, aren't they gorgeous, so trust me, I've got enough gnomes to keep this bag full for a couple of years, um, yeah, so I'm going to be with help <laughs> making this into my gnome bag. So I got those from Ribbon Rose along with a couple of threads um, as well. Okay, no, not that one. Oh, the other one I got from Pete's was this one. This one was not planned for anything. I have no idea why, but it was really cool and and because it doesn't have straight lines, I'm not anxious about trying to make sure it lines up because it's squiggly, you know, watercoloured and, and stuff. I just, yeah, Nicole pointed it out as one of the new ones. She's like, oh, that one. Yeah, purple. Of course I was going to get it. So, yeah, so I got those. And then from uh, Spotlight, um, I don't know if I showed these already, but these are a couple of the um, uh, shelves. I just need to get a couple of hooks. Is that so? I've got two of them for displaying, and then I also got, um, and I've got a couple of things in mind. I got some of this. It's uh, vinyl adhesive. And it's a marble, marble looking one. Um, I've got, I've got a couple of ideas. Whether they work or not, I don't know. But you know, they were on sale, so if they don't work, that's okay. <laughs> and I also, from Ribbon Rose, got this. It's a uh, Yazi, Y A Z Z I I dot com. Um, this is the, it comes very compact, but it's got two compartments, top and bottom. So at the moment, the top just has, you know, um, some of my diamond tea and the whisper that I got from, um, Stitch NZ as well. The lovely Elizabeth at Stitch NZ. And then the bottom has these. And I've got my Krennix in them, which is really cool. So, and this was actually on special. It was like down to like $35 or something. So, um, 
New Zealand dollars. We're looking at you know less than twenty bucks Australian, uh, American, less than thirty bucks Australian, I would think. Um, so yeah, so and of course I had to get the purple one because, you know, it's me, and I like purple. So I got the purple one. And then the last bit of haul I got was actually from AliExpress. Some of my I've, I've got a lot of stuff coming, and yeah, it takes. In general, it can take up to eight weeks to to get things, but I don't mind waiting. You know, if this, if it's something I need urgently, then I order it locally. If it's not, and it's just something that I want to sort of start putting into my stash for future plans, then I'll just order it because I do the free shipping, and nothing I I buy is over. I think the most expensive thing has been probably about five bucks, I think. So, you know, um, so I got these to make pins because um, I've got a bunch of kabochin, 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 round flat. Um, so I'm going to stick them on there, but I'm also going to add a few beads to the pin. Um, and make some cute little pins and if that works I'll get some more of those I got just one pack as just to sort of see will it actually work <laughs> so I got that I got <clears throat> these again to make some little uh, pins it's tasty persimmon I think or something like that but to me they look like little pumpkins so if you can no, so they've got that on the top and I think they're little pumpkins because they've got that sort of shape to them so it's actually uh, there's a pack of like five or six I think um, so I got those to give them a go and then I got this to go on a pin so the pin will go through but in between there there is going to be a bead Um, I just sort of thought I want to make some heart ones, you know, some love ones for all my Valentine pillows when I make them and things like that. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, so, yeah, so I got a little pack of those, which is really cool. Again, for pins and again for my Valentine ones, I got these. Um, let me just try. And, there we go. So, I got these. So, they're all little hearts. Um, and they're really quite cute. So, um, yeah, so I got those. And then I, I got a couple of, of pins, um, brooches, badges, which I might turn into needle minders or I might just attach onto a finish. So one, this one has coffee and books. And I, I know one lady who would probably love this. Uh, and this one is, of course, my little Grim Reaper. And he's very cute. You know, he's just so cute. So I got those. And then I spotted this. And I love Tiger's Eye. It's one of my favourite stones. And um, they had this Tiger's Eye cat. So of course, you know, had to get it. It's just a pendant. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use it. I might even just put it on a necklace and wear it. But I think it's gorgeous. So I got that. Um... Was that everything? Oh. <laughs> now, I know a lot of people use things like, you know, the chenille and the pom-pom thing. Obviously, I use other stuff. You know, I, I use the Chanel yarn that I showed you just before. But I spotted these and I thought, well, they're a bit different than the pom-poms, but they're quite cool. And that's these. And I'm sort of thinking, these are the sort of things I could even tack on because I'd just tack between, you know, between each one onto the design, you know, onto the pillow or whatever I'm going to use it for. So I got the pink, which is very nice. I love the the variation through it. I love that. There we go. That's probably a bit better. I got this one, which I just I just loved. It was just it's very tropical looking because of the yellow going into the red and the orange I just sort of thought that was really cool 
I got the blue, which I'll probably use for like the winter ones. Which is lovely. And then I got the green, which I'll probably use for the spring ones. I only got, you know, one yard of each because like, I mean, I, you don't know what it's like until you get it. Um, and they were only like, you know, a dollar a yard or a dollar twenty-five a yard or something like that. So it was worth the risk, you know. So I got those and it was free shipping, even better. Um, so those will go into my finishing box. And <clears throat> oh, I got this as well because I didn't have any orange wool. So I got this stuff. Um, I don't know how it's going to work because the bottom part is quite thin. But I should be able to get it to work just like I do with the other ones. But I just, you know, this was like a dollar. <laughs> so I thought, eh, yeah, free shipping, a dollar, let's go for it. Um, and I don't have any orange. And because I do so much Halloween and stuff like that, I thought I should have an orange. Um, I mean, even if I use it for, like, the, the hanger only or... Um, to make a tassel or something like that. I'll make use of it at some point. So that's my haul. You think it was enough, eh? Like I said, not a lot of stitchy, stitchy stuff, but you know. Oh, when I went up to Mum's at Christmas <clears throat> and I gave her these, um, this basket of finishes. Um, my mum <laughs> went down to her room or something like that and she came back out and she goes now you gave me these a long time ago could you turn them into pillows and I put them in the glove box of my car and I just hadn't brought them back in until last week when I was cleaning out the car to you know go and get a war in a fitness and um, I was just absolutely shocked that she still had them they'd never been framed or anything like that she'd just keep them nice and safe in these plastic bags for oh um, these were probably done in the first couple of years of me stitching which so that would have been early 2000s um like you know 2003 or 4 so they're about 19 or 20 years old i remember doing these because my sister had got me a beatrix potter alphabet book and it had some little extra motifs in it as well but she got me that not to have but to borrow because she wanted me to do um, a few, you know, some names for her kids, for their rooms. So I, I remember doing those, um, but I had forgotten that I'd done a few extra little motifs which I'd given to my mum because I love Beatrix Potter. My favourite is Miss Tiggy Winkle. Um, and the reason she's my favourite, I mean, my granny did tapestries and, and embroidery and tatting and cross stitch and, you know, you name it spinning, sewing, knitting, you know, she did it all. Um, but I remember on her wall she had two, no, three Beatrix Potters, these are quite big. One was Miss Tiggy Winkle, and it was always my favourite. She also had Jemima Puddle Duck and Jeremy Fisher. And um, I just always loved two particular characters. One was Samuel Whiskers and one was Miss Tiggy Winkle. I just I just loved them. I don't know why you know, my, my granny, you know, would read the Beatrix Potter stories and things like that. We'd have, you know, story time after school and and that sort of stuff. And and all that just came rushing back to me when my mum gave me these. And so I am gonna be turning them into little pillows for mum because that's what she wants. But here's Miss Moppet. They might take them out of the bag. So sorry, you're going to hear some sound. Now, I was watching a floss tube the other day and they were talking about how annoying these sorts of bags are because the sticky sticks on everything. You know, sticks on your pattern when you're trying to take it out. Here's a tip. Where that sticky part is at the top, just fold it over. Like that. And you don't have to worry about anything sticking. So there she is. And she just slips back in. Um, 
and I just fold over the top. I don't seal it again. Um, and then the other one, I'm going to have to ask my mum, you know, does she really want this one back? Because it's one of my favourite characters, and I'd forgotten I'd done it. Um, and it's Mr. Samuel Whiskers. Cute. These would have been stitched on, I would think it's an 18 count Ada, because when I first started I was stitching on 20 and 18 count uh, in general. Um, and then as my as my eyesight's gotten worse, I've had to lower the count. Isn't he gorgeous? I want to keep him. I'm going to have to ask my sister if she's still got the book. Because <laughs> if, if mum really wants him, then I might have to ask my sister if, he, if she's still got the book and then I'll redo him. So those those were wonderful. Those were great memories. Um, now, the stitchy kindness is what blew me away. Um, from the lovely Kristen, who had helped me uh, finish Frederick the Literate by doing the back stitch on it for me because I hate back stitch, um, especially on black. I, you know, on black fabric, I I just struggle so badly. But she was wonderful and she completed him for me um, with the with the final back stitching and even adding the French knots, which I wasn't even planning on adding, but she added those in because they were in the design. Um, and so that was a project that was at least 17, 18 years old. Um, and it was finished last year. But she's gone back, back over to England. So she's she's left our Kiwi shores, which is really sad because we never got a chance to meet up in person. And, you know, because she was at the top of the island and then she was in Palmerston North, which was close enough. I probably should have gone for a drive um, to see her, but work was busy at the time and I just couldn't get any time off. Um, but she's, she's back at home and she said to me, we're going to be swapping a, a couple of charts. So I'm sending her over a couple of charts and she was sending me over one in particular because I absolutely loved it. And so she was, <laughs> she was going to send it over to me and I was going to send her the ones that she liked, of, of, you know, that I'd finished. And so that's all I was expecting. Um, so the charts... Um, oh, hang on, that's... So the chart that I was expecting We are the sample makers by the Scarlet House because one of my themes as well is stitchy related so it's you know the stitchy themed ones it says plying our needle on linen with thread our work will live on long after live on long after we're dead. Our gentle art gives us such pleasure. The stitches before us we truly do treasure, for we are the sampler makers. Now while I don't do a lot of samplers, because of the alphabets, I do actually have two chosen out, whether I do them next year or late this year, with alphabets. I know. And I'm specifically going to do them because I do want to try and do you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to do a range of ones that would not normally be done by me. So I, I usually stitch Halloween and that's pretty much it. But I want to try some of these other things, even if I only do the one, or maybe two. But I want to try and do, I don't know whether I'm wanting to do a reproduction one. Because my OCD will go nuts because it, if it's not. If there's mistakes on it that are purposely mistakes on it, it would just it would do my head in. Um, <laughs> but that's that's a goal, and that is actually why I loved that particular chart because I just sort of thought that would be really lovely to have if I could do two samplers about the same size and have that one in the middle. That would that would be a nice display, and and that would be good. But I don't want to do whopping great big samplers. I just want to do small ones. Um, 
she also sent this one, which had me cracking up laughing because I don't like dust. Uh, I sort of forget, you know, it's the year of the rabbit, dust bunnies are allowed. You know, um, it's a Lizzie Kate giggle boxer. Uh, you can touch the dust, but please don't write in it. And I love that. That was, yeah, that had me cracking up laughing. I was giggling so much when I read that one. I was like, oh yeah, that, that's definitely going to get done. That's, that's, that's going to get done. This one here, absolutely loved. Um, it's a Foxwood Crossing design called It's Halloween. It's really simple. It's, um, 128 by 175 and the model was done on 28 count cashew linen from Picture This Plus using Wex Dye Wex Onyx saying you need three skeins. I love when it tells you on these sorts of things how many skeins you need because, you know, especially when it's going to be using an over dyed. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to use the same fabric, obviously. And I don't know if I'm going to do it all in one color because... I've got my, my glow-in-the-dark threads as well, and I'm thinking, well, ghosts, you know, some of these motifs and things like that, but it says, lock your doors and turn out the lights, or ghosts and goblins will spook you tonight. Jump in your bed, pull the covers up tight, close your eyes until the morning light, until the morning is light. There we go. So it is very cool. I'm doing a lot of wordy ones. That's another one. I was trying to find a fabric that I liked words on, but I couldn't find any that, that I liked that uh, you know what I have in my mind to create a bag for so I'm just gonna have to come up with something else <laughs> but the biggest surprise was what else was in the pack that she sent and I'd just seen something else that I I didn't think to open oh my god okay <sighs> right so the first thing was this beautiful project bag and she's got the Patchwork Pines Handmade in England. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And look at these stars on the back. And it's got monkey on the front. Look at the monkey. There's a monkey. Uh, in case you're new, monkey is my cat. <laughs> Shadow monkey is his full name, but he gets called monkey. And she did a little pouch, a little notions pouch to go in it. So... You know, and, and now I'm sort of thinking, okay, what cat designs have I got? Because this is going to be my cat bag, um, where I'm going to put all my cat designs, because I do have some, you know, quite a few. And look what else she added in, and I didn't even see this until now. And oh my god, it's a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Oh, ah, one of my favourite designers. Look at that. Needle minder. Holy mo- <gasps> Oh, thank you so much, Kristen. Oh my god, didn't see that. Jeez, oh, there's another one. Okay, and she sent me another bag, right? Obviously, Bobby Bobby is a one-off. He, he, he's an original, and there's no duplicates of him anywhere. No pictures, no nothing. But she sent me the doggy bag. So I call this the Bobby bag. Um, isn't that gorgeous? Look at those dogs. Look, look at that one. Oh my god, that's me in dog form. Well, oh, that's me, because I'm cool. Isn't that gorgeous? And then all these, look this this here, and it's got things like, happiness is handmade, sewing mends the soul, one stitch at a time. Isn't that gorgeous? That's what all that lettering is. Maybe that's what I need for the sampler bag. And, the little pouch as well. And I've just felt that there's another needle minder in it. I didn't know there were needle minders in it. Oh, she's cute. Oh, I like her. And that darling. Oh, little gothy girl. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. I was so surprised. And I have been dying to start using, because I've, I've, I've already named them, right, the, the bags. So this one is Monkey, and this one is Bobby. So I've named the bags Bobby and Monkey, because you know, but they are absolutely lovely, they're, oh, <sighs> it's 
so yeah it was really lovely thank you thank you so so much and I think is that everything is there anything else I keep on thinking there's something else and I've forgotten um I do want to do a couple of shout outs um you may have already heard about her if you haven't please go and check her out Lost in Stitches absolutely lovely woman um she's a survivor of breast cancer she's still fighting um, never give up and she's a, an incredible inspiration um, so please if you haven't already seen her go and check her out give her some love subscribe and all that sort of thing because she is you know she does some beautiful beautiful stitching um, and just yeah she's very inspirational and you know um, and she's Canadian you know because cat loves Canadians um, in case you're new the reason I love Canadians is because I'm half Canadian my dad was Canadian and I when I was over in Canada in 2004 I felt so at home um, yeah it, it was it was just another home um, and so I love finding floss tubers that are you know in Canada um, oh there was one correction I needed to do last time when I was showing all the Valentine finishes there was one that I said I think it's Kate stitches um, no it's Erin Elizabeth and I'm so sorry Erin Erin um, Elizabeth does some beautiful designs uh, if you just give me a second I'll just reach over and grab some printouts that I did and I knew I was supposed to you know, organize something this morning and I forgot so sorry um, but Erin Elizabeth does some beautiful designs, and Erin is the sister-in-law of Shannon Christie. Um, I haven't laminated these yet, so on the plus side, no glare. But these are some of the ones that I've got in the range to do this year, maybe, to pick from some more. So there's this one, First Snow by Stone Street Stitch Works. Um, I've got a lot of working copies so that I can put them into the folders and stuff like that, ready to pull out, and ready to go. Um, this is Finnegan's Flowers by Whispered by the Wind. So I don't do only Halloween by Whispered by the Wind. <laughs> I just do a lot of these. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, so this is Modern Cross Stitch on Etsy. I got a, you'll see them pop up a few times because I've got a few of her gnomes. So this is the Gnomes Autumn Fall. From Svetlana Shika, Sishka. S A pattern on um, Etsy, the Gnome Valentine. Okay, let's read go down the bottom. I finally printed up my frosted pumpkins that I've had for like a couple of years, um, <laughs> because I want I want to start stitching these ones that I bought on Etsy and, and stuff like that. It's like I bought the dang things, I should be stitching them instead of, you know, all these new ones that I get that, you know, squirrel. Um, so I've printed up the cover pages so that they're basically in my face in the folder. So whatever goes into the folder, that's all I've got to choose from this year. If it's not in the folder, I'm not stitching it this year. So uh, Camelot the Dragon by the Frosted Pumpkin. Ghouls just want to have fun. Midnight Way. I don't know if I'm going to do it all as one. I might do them as three separate ones. Penny's Potions, which I brought and then noticed it in one of my Just Cross Stitch magazines. So, but that's okay. It's a very cute design and I do like it. 
the pen pals number 210 greetings from transylvania i've also got the center one but i don't think i printed it i printed up this i think i, I ran out of printing allowance so i have to wait till next month um trick or treat costume club so this one has two in it so you've got the banner and then you've got the little um scissor fob so it's pretty cool and which better have my candy and then um well that freebie didn't work okay my printer is, is not always agreeable to printing um so this one is from silver creek samplers um it's can do attitude it was a freebie I can and I will 2023 when I saw this one I thought yep I've got to do this one I, I can I can and I will um, this one was a free Thanksgiving chart from heartstring samplery designs by Beth twist uh, for Thanksgiving 2018 grateful thankful blessed while I don't celebrate Thanksgiving I think those three words aren't just for Thanksgiving. Um, for those that subscribe to um, That's So Kelly's newsletters and things like that, um, I've got a few subscriber exclusives. So if you're wanting to subscribe, please do. If you, you know, and she sends these out um, and that sort of thing. So there's Holly House. Isn't that gorgeous? I love my houses. Uh, this is Jack. There we go, that's so Kelly. I think these are out of order. Um, this was a freebie from Twin Peaks Little Christmas House. So it's Twin Peaks Primitives Little Christmas House. It should be on their website as a freebie. Then from Etsy from Stitchy Princess Black. I got a couple of hers, but I've only got. Did I only print up one? The World of Bees. So this is going into my bee one. It is a biggie. So I am going to, I'm sort of thinking this is going to be like a feature behind the display, depending on how I decide to finish it. It's gorgeous. Look at those bees. So I got that on Etsy from, as you can see, let me go. I think I've got the mushroom one as well. My printer kept on acting up, so I had to keep on stopping and starting, and I think I printed them out of order. Those are all the elf flowers. Oh, here we go. <coughs> also from Stitchy Princess is Mushroom Meadow. Again, that one will be for my gnomes as a backdrop. So I, I do have ideas in mind for these larger ones, um, which is the only reason that they're going to get done. And then from Soda Stitches, is that right? Soda Stitch Designs. These are the free ones that you can get at sodastitch.com. Um, but, you know, she's also got an Etsy shop. So there's the Easter Bunny. Oh, I love it. Look at the little, little tail. That'd be good for, like, pin the tail on the bunny. And then we've got Santa in a cup. And then, it's oh, always got to be one. Come apart. Here we go. Snowman. Yes, I realise they're Christmas ones. So I'm, I am going to do a little bit of Christmas this year. And the Santa Express. And then from Owl, Owl Stitching House. I got a few so I've got season summer tree now I'm not going to do the months down the bottom because obviously our seasons are different <laughs> those are our winter season months 
but I loved the tree. So there's the summer one and I also got the spring one from Etsy. It is our stitching house. And you know me in houses, I love doing houses. I got the Christmas gingerbread village. Love it. Love it. Um, with Easter approaching, I see all these lovely little cute little Easter-y bunny things and, you know, I mean, I'm, I know it's the year of the rabbit, but I'm not a, a huge rabbit nut. But last year, Witchy Stitcher did sort of knock it out of the park with this one. <laughs> For me, anyway. Isn't that cool? Look at that. So, you'll get this on the Witchy Stitcher website. Um, or on Etsy, if that's your preferred. But yeah, so it's not going to get done for this Easter, but I'm going to get it stitched for next Easter. And then back to SA Pattern, um, another one of hers, Svetlana Shikar, Sishka, Patrick's Gnome with a Bear. And I do have another Patrick's Gnome as well. Um, now, Erin Elizabeth, as I said, the sister-in-law of Shannon and Christine, and okay, so in case you're wondering which one I messed up, I'm just going to do this. It is a freebie um, on, on her website, so let's see, and you can check her out on Facebook as well, so it's that one there. So that's the one that I did that I incorrectly said who the designer was. So I do apologise profusely. Isn't that gorgeous? Of course I did mine completely different colours, but that's me. Um, I also went and bought um, Witch's Coffee House Stop By for a Brew. Yeah, Witch and Coffee. So I had to get that one. Um, this is another one. That's a freebie from Erin Elizabeth. I'm just hiding the uh, chart because it's all on one page. Luck of the Irish. If you're wanting to know about any of these, if I'm going too fast, um, you can either rewind or um, <laughs> or just ask me. Uh, from Kill, uh, that's so Kelly. Again, this is part of you. You get it if you're subscribed. Um, for it is the Calitudes, and this is the second one, which is Share Your Umbrella. Hey, Bobby. And then from Wild Violet, this was a freebie, part of the Trainway Silks Tea Time palette. Um, this was a freebie for a little while. I don't think it still is. I think it was just a, a weekend special. But this is Moon tea time. Isn't that cool? From Wild Violet. I might even get the Moonway, uh, the, the Trainway silks. I have got a couple, but I won't have those colours, I can guarantee it. Um, also, another freebie that she had was Count Twice, Stitch Once. Now, as you know, Anna stitched this as part of, um, you know, and, and she made it into a a small notions pouch for me um, as a gift um, and I'm sort of thinking you know I like it I love it to bits but I want to see it more often so I'm thinking I might just quickly stitch that one up I haven't decided yet it's not high on the list um, Uh, no, that's just the design. Okay. Um, I got this one, a little stitch by Lizzie Kate. So these are just my working copies that can go in my folder so that I know what to stitch because otherwise I'll go and pick a whole bunch of other stuff. Now in case you haven't seen it yet, remember when I was talking in regards to the fabrics that I got? My, it's called My Grandma's Jewelry Box by Carolyn Manning. It's a 12-part stitch along which I haven't started yet um, 
but she releases a new one every month and they're just little designs uh you know and they're just beautiful and they make use of your beads not many specialty stitches and the ones that are used are very simple and the instructions are really good so this was number one my grandma's jewelry box so that was january and even if you sign up now you'll get right up to date so you'll get all the charts this is Febu february i hate saying february i hate saying that month number two and then this is number three for March. So that is on the Carolyn Manning website. Absolutely lovely. And I think it was only like, I don't know, was it like 15 or 20 bucks? Something like that. Um, and she just had a big sale. So, which of course I missed because I just wanted that chart and I didn't want to go overboard. Um, Okay, back on to Etsy and to SA Patterns. I did buy a few because she sent me a voucher. So I had to go back and use the voucher. So there's Gnome Patrick with a horseshoe. So it's a slightly bigger one. So he's going to be buddies with the other one. This one has been on my wish list for a long time. I love my Sherlock Holmes. I love Poirot and all that sort of stuff. So when I saw this was on sale, I, I gave in. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the little Sherlock Holmes bunny. I know, I don't like bunnies, but I like this one. Uh, he's very cute. I have asked a couple of the gnome designers, <laughs> would they do it? Would one of them please do a Sherlock Holmes gnome? Still waiting to hear back. Um, then I also got from Modern Cross Stitch in a World, uh, it's called. In a world full of princesses, be a witch. I love this. Absolutely love this. So yeah, that's getting done. On the Primitive Hair website, they have got a bunch of the Sabbat um, charts free. So I've got all of those as well. Uh, back to SA Pattern, I got the Gnome Bee because, you know, I'm doing a whole bunch of bees. I had to get a gnome. A Kenomi. This one is going to go with my dad's bag. Um, dad's area, corner. Gnome with a lighthouse. Because dad was in the, in the Canadian Navy. And he lived by the sea. And he loved the lighthouse. And he just, yeah. So, I, yeah. I had to get that one. So it's going to be for dad's area. Um, another one from Primitive here. That was a freebie. Um, is please enter your pin. It's a little bit different than my other one. So I'm going to do this one because my best friend is, <laughs> is my other one. Um, well, those are the rest of the primitive hair ones for the Sabbath. Sorry, please hold. There's a few for the Sabbath. Here we go. That's what I was waiting for. Okay. So from KB Studio Creations, I got this one, Canada House, to go with my dad's area. Because I want to do like a Canadian themed area. All things Canadian. Um, I've started getting little, I've, I've, I'm trying to find like little pins and I've got, a, I've got a moose, a little soft toy moose that I got when I was over in Canada and I got... Um, a seal um, on a on a plaque thing from Quebec, um, and so they're all going to end up in this particular zone for my dad. Um, but then I got a voucher. <laughs> got a voucher to go back and discount. You know that was just so way back. I got winter cabin, and that's going to go for my dad's area as well. Dad always wanted a log cabin. He always wanted. You know, and that just reminded me, you know, I could imagine that in Canada with my dad living in it. Well, he's not down at the beach house. <laughs> He'd be up in the log cabin up in the, up in the mountains. So I got that one. Oh, yeah, I really had to get this one. It's a Halloween house, and I just think it's really cute. It's something so different than any of the other ones I've done, because all the other ones have been, like, grey and 
and stuff like that. I love this one. It's very autumn-y as well. And then this is the other one that's going to go in Dad's area. It's the Autumn House. Um, the colours just remind me, because when I was in Canada, it was when the seasons were turning into fall. And the leaves were changing, and every day I'd get up at my cousin's, and I'd look over at the mountain, and just the oranges were coming through more in the reds, and it was just beautiful. So I want this one for that as another memory of that. Um, back to SA patterns because you know you know how I got the Sherlock Holmes one. Well, look, they had a bunny bee as well, so I had to get that. And then from Modern X Stitch, I got the Honey Bee Gnomes as well because it's very cute and it's got purple. You know, it's nice to see a gnome with purple hair. You know, he's a rebel. Um. From Erin Elizabeth, I got the B tier. I was a little concerned about how big it was going to be because the Madame Chantilly ones are quite large and I don't want to do a big large one, but it's only 63 by 83. So it's a really lovely size and will work beautifully in my little B corner. So love that. Helps to keep, I've actually got the chart because it was a, a PDF. A freebie from Noctiflora Designs, N-O-C-T-I-F-L-O-R-A, Noctiflora, is Little Sipper. Isn't that cute? Another little blood pool down the bottom. Because, you know, I love it. So I got that one. Um, and then the last two, did that not print up? I got a couple of Cherry Parker designs, um, just here, so I got, I'm not going to put it around a candle, but it's like a candle wrap, um, um, I mean it might even fit around that jar, which would be fantastic, because then that might go in my bee corner, um, so I got, I got that, and I also got another design, which I'm not going to show, because I'm going to be stitching it in secret for a friend. Um, but I did go to Michaela Luna's um, Etsy and I got her humbug set, which is gorgeous. And then I also got from fourstitch.com the love gnomes. Guess he's not allowed to spend any more money for a while. Um, I do have some more stuff coming. Um, I've got um, an order coming from JK's in Australia and one of part of the order is the mystery pack but I'm not allowed to open any of it because that's my birthday present to myself so I have to I have to put it in a safe place out of my eyesight otherwise I'm just gonna look into it and open it so I'm not allowed to open it until my birthday so I've got something to open um, and I do have more Aliexpress things coming I've got more charms pins um, and and those sorts of and, and some more things for displaying and, and that sort of stuff and monkeys monkeys here so everything's going to get knocked so yeah um, what did I watch on floss tube I caught up on Erin Elizabeth beautiful caught up on Primrose Cottages and I've got a few on my list from there um, like I said lost in stitches please go and check her out as well uh, show her the love series stitchy spot I love watching her I do I, I just get so much pleasure um, caught up with the Virginia stitcher she's got some beautiful projects on the go uh, Brenda and Laura um, as if I didn't love them already enough now they're doing smalls how happy am I and it's like this is good they're doing smalls I'm happy uh, steadfast stitcher um, uh, creatively Caught up with hers, chasing Alex. Caught up with hers. Um, uh, yet, oh, Janet Jabber. I love. Honestly, this woman, she's just so full of energy, and it's exhausting, but it's wonderful, and it makes you feel good. And she's just, she's just really lovely. So if you haven't checked out Janet Jabber, go and check her out. Um, 
I don't know how many links I'm going to put down below. I might just put them across here because for some reason when I try to do the link thingy down below, my whole thing freezes and then I have to start all over again. It doesn't save any of it and it takes long enough to upload anything as it is. Um, every time I try and edit it after I've uploaded it, I might be able to add one you know, link and then you know when I try to do the next one the whole thing just freezes and I'm just like okay we're not doing that anymore so I'll I would rather you just send me a message um, my contact details are down below I'm just going to leave them in there I will try and put down you know some of the information um, that I can down below to sort of give you some idea of where to go but otherwise just drop me an email um, or I mean a, a message through Instagram um, or or whatever okay so uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the kind words, the wonderful thoughts. Um, it really, really is um, incredible. It really is incredible. So wherever you are, if you're cool, please keep warm. It is starting to get a bit cooler here um, now that we're in autumn. Um, keep warm. Snuggle up. Lots of lemon, honey and ginger. Lots of onion and garlic and turmeric. Build up those natural immune, uh, immune thingies. Um, and if you're in a hot place, please make sure you keep cool. Uh, drink lots of water. We don't want you dehydrating. If you're in a windy place, take cover. I mean, I'm in Windy Wellington, but, you know, 120k winds are a normal thing. Um, <laughs> we've adjusted. It's like, oh, it's a bit of a breeze. Uh, but otherwise, just take care wherever you are. Mother Nature is having a big field day at the moment. Um, you know, for any that may be in the affected areas of New Zealand, you know, we're still working hard to to help support those people at work. Um it is, it is, it is very exhausting, but I wouldn't change it, you know, um, being able to help and make a difference, even if it's just for a day, it's a gift, so, um, as tiring as it is sometimes, and, and emotionally draining as it is sometimes, it's, it's worth it, in my mind. So remember, march to the beat of your own drum. It's where the magic happens. See you at Easter. Toodles.